Today in Module 2, we worked on Lessons 17 and 18. Our objective was to use basic facts to estimate quotients with two digit divisors. Now, there's a few mathematical terms in here. Let's just clarify. Quotients. When you see the word quotients, does that mean that you're solving addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division problems? Yes, you are solving. If you said division, you were right. A quotient solves a division problem. So here's the first problem that we're going to look at. This problem reads 425 divided by 64. And we want to estimate this to um, find a quotient. So here are our steps. The first thing that you're going to do is you're going to round the divisor to the nearest 10. Well, this number here is my divisor. So if I rounded that to the nearest 10, I would get 60. I know that 64 is closest to 60. And how do I know that? If you remember, 0 to 4 stays on the floor, and 5 to 9 climbs up the vine. So because this is a 4, it makes a 6 stay on the floor and becomes 60. Now I have to change this number. Look at number 2. Change the dividend to a compatible number. This word compatible, do you know what that means? A compatible number is a number that works. It goes together. We have to think about what number can what number can 6 go into or 60 go into? And it has to be close to 425. So what I like to do is make a list of multiples. Since I'm working with 60, I'm going to make a list of multiples of 60. And when I get somewhere around 425, I'll stop. So 60 times 1 would be 60. 60 times 2, 120. 60 times 3, 180. 60 times 4, 240. 60 times 5, 300. 60 times 6, 360. 60 times 7, 420. Oh, stop. Look at that, 420, 425, that's really close. So I'm going to change the dividend to 420. Now I can divide. Well, I know that whatever I do to one side, I can do, do to the other. So I'm going to cross out the zero on this side. Therefore, I'm going to cross out the zero on this side. 6 goes into 42 seven times. So my estimate, 425 divided by 64, is approximately... Here is our next problem, our next equation, 2,899 divided by 66. Okay, so again, I'm going to round the divisor to the nearest 10. So 66 to the nearest 10 would be what? Now let's think, 0 to 4 stays on the floor, 5 to 9 climbs the vine. So this 6 makes the other 6 climb the vine. So I'm going to make it 70. Now I have to change the dividend to a compatible number. So now I'm going to list my multiples of 70. And when I get somewhere near 28, I'll know that I'm somewhere close. So I have 70 times 1 is 70. 70 times 2, 140. Times 3 would be 210. Mm, getting there. Times 4 would be 280. Oh, I'm going to stop there. Look at that. So I'm going to make this, I'm going to change the dividend to 2,800. Now I can divide. Whatever I do to one side, I do to the other. So I'm going to cross out one zero, cross out one zero. Seven goes into 28 four times, and there's one zero left over. So 2,899 divided by 66 is approximately 40.